number nine. So it's g of x, no, it's y, sorry, it's y. y equals, and it's written kind of funny, it's cosine of, of pi x to the fifth. Okay. So you could just take the derivative, or you can do a little bit of rewriting before you do it. Let's maybe do a little bit of rewriting. We can raise each of these pieces to the fifth power on the inside. So it's still y. So this is cosine of pi to the fifth, x to the fifth, right? Pi to the fifth, x to the fifth. So it's pi to the fifth, x to the fifth, like that. Right? Pi to the fifth, x to the fifth. Boom. Oh, wow, what's that? Oh, number 10 looks scary. Well, I think we should try it because I don't know how to do it. Um, what's the derivative of cosine? Negative sine. It's got that negative. It's like really annoying. Ugh. So it's negative sine of, ooh, this is weird, pi to the fifth, x to the fifth, oh, times, I guess this pi to the fifth is a constant, so it hangs out, right? So it'll be five pi to the fifth, running out of room, times x to the fourth power, very good, G good. Good. It's not Joey, is it? It's Joshua. Joshua. Oh, I thought it was Joey. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so again, you put the 5 in the front, and this is a constant. So you get, It's like 5x to the 4th, and the pi to the 5th hangs out. Right? The pi to the 5th hangs out. I guess the last thing to do is maybe just put this in the front, right? So this will be y prime equals negative 5 pi to the 5th, x to the 4th, sine of pi to the fifth. It's really confusing, isn't it? The pi to the fifth is really like terrible. Like I, I, it just looks really weird. We don't really usually see pi to the fifth anywhere. 